Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about Factor Theorem. Last time, we have uploaded a video which focuses on how to do or how to find the remainder using Remainder Theorem. So let me read the f definition of Factor Theorem. Let P of X be a polynomial. We are given a polynomial. If P of C is equal to zero, where C is a real number, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. I know that this kind of theorem or somehow a definition of factor theorem is quite difficult for you to understand. So let me give you the overview of this topic para mas lalo nyo maintindihan kung ano ba ibig sabihin ng factor theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a problem and then here is the main problem you are asked to tell whether x plus 1 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. Again, here's the importance of this theorem. We will be using the factor theorem to find out if this binomial is a factor of this given polynomial 2x squared, 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. So, ano ba mga different ways on how to prove whether this binomial is a factor of this polynomial? Okay, here's, here are the steps on how, here are the methods on how to do that. You can use long division. You can also use synthetic division. Right? Tama ba ko? Yes. So, sir, paano natin malalaman whether x plus 1 is a factor if the remainder is 0. Again, if the remainder is 0. And aside from the long division and synthetic division, we can also use the remainder theorem. At kapag ang nakuha natin remainders ay 0, automatic, yung x plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. So una, we can also we can use na first ha, synthetic division. Try natin ha. So we have 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. And then to be divided by x plus 1. So going at an x minus 1 is equal to 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0. Transpose at na sa kabila your x is equal to negative 1. At ayan yung nilagay natin dito sa loob ng box. Meron tayo. So you have negative 1. And then kunin natin coefficients. 2, 5. Since wala yung ating linear term, 0 natin is negative 3. Now again ha, hindi po, hindi po focus ng ating topic or video ay yung synthetic division. Ginagamit lang natin synthetic division to find out what is the remainder of these polynomials when we divide them? So, next step natin is itong line na to. And then, bring down 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Add natin yung 5 and negative 2, that is 3. Then, 3 times negative 1, that will give you negative 3. 0 times, 0, minus, 0 plus negative 3, that is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. And as you can see, pag inad natin itong dalawang to, this is equal to 0. At going back with our rule, kapag kinawa natin, yung, kinawa natin yung quotient, since yung ating given dividend, it starts from the cube or third power, mag minus tayo ng 1, so this will be 2x squared. mag start tayo sa 2x squared, sa x squared. And ito naman ay magiging plus 3x. Itong negative 3, this will be your constant. So as you can see, meron na tayo. At kung mapansin nyo, ito, your remainder is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor of... 2x cubed plus 5x 
minus 3. Sir, paano nyo palalaman ulit kung yung x plus 1 ay factor ng given polynomial na yan? Remember, if your remainder is equal to 0. So, dito gamit tayong synthetic division. So, let me use the remainder theorem. Pag, pag ginamit natin, natin yung remainder theorem, we will be having p of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. At yung ating give, yung tinitest natin na ito, x plus 1 is equal to 0, so your x is equal to negative 1. So, ang ating magiging input dito ngayon is negative 1. So, you have 2 times negative 1 raised to 3 plus 5 times negative 1 raised to 2 minus 3. Yung ating input na negative 1 ay insert lang natin. Simplifying this, this will begin, become 2 times negative 1 plus 5 minus 3. So, paano naging ganyan? Kasi yung negative 3, negative 1 natin, yung kanyang exponent is odd. Therefore, negative yan. Tapos, negative 1 raised to 2, ito tayo. It is positive 1. Simplifying this equation or this part, this is negative 2 plus 5 minus 3. So, this is 0. So, ating p of negative 1 is 0. Automatic, ito yung remainder natin kasi gumamit nga tayo ng remainder theorem. Therefore, if this is 0, x plus 1 is really a factor of 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3. So, you hope na given yung synthetic division or ginamit natin yung synthetic division at yung ating remainder theorem na kuha na, nakita natin na yung Remainder is 0. Automatic, yung x plus 1 ay a fa factor. So, move on na tayo sa ating next example. Tell whether the following binomials, x plus 2, x minus 1, or x plus 3, are factors of p of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, for this part, we will not be using synthetic division purely Ang gagamitin natin ay yung remainder theorem. So, try na natin ha. So, if you have x plus 2, equate natin 0, magiging x is equal to negative 2. Ito ngayon yung magiging input natin. So, you have p of negative 2 is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, input lang natin dito yung negative 2 sa lahat ng value ng x. So, you have p of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 raised to 3 plus 2 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2, lagyan natin ng parenthesis, minus 2. Simplify natin to since negative yun na sa loob at add number that is negative 8 plus 2 times 4. Kasi negative 2 raised to 2 is 4. The negative times negative, dito tayo ha. That is plus 2 or positive and then minus 2. Simplify natin, this is negative 8 plus 8 plus 2 minus 2. Mapansin nyo, magiging 0 na to. Ito 0 na rin. Automatic, your p of negative 2 is equal to 0. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Ang ibig sabihin yan is, is that the remainder is 0. So, kung 0 ang remainder mo, automatic, x plus 2 is a factor. Okay? So, let's move on with the next binomial, x minus 1. Okay, wait, natin 0, magiging x is equal to 1. Using same equation, or the same function, p of 1 is equal to 2 x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. Kaya natin 1, 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 1 minus 2. Simplify natin, this is 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2. Mapansin nyo, magiging 3 minus 3. So you have 0. Ang p of 1 natin, the remainder is 0. So automatic, yung x minus 1 natin 
is a factor. So, yun na. So, we have two factors. Galing ha. Ito yung mga factors niyan. And then, try natin yung x plus 3. Equate natin sa 0. This is x is equal to negative 3. So, gawin natin p of negative 3 is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, palitan natin lahat ang x ng negative 3 cube plus 2 times negative 3 squared minus negative 3 minus 2. This is negative 27 plus 2 times 9 plus 3 minus 2. Negative 27 plus 18 plus 1. So, kung mapansin nyo, this is negative negative 9 plus 1 so negative 8 yung tamang sagot okay so kung mapansin nyo if we have p of three, negative 3 anong nangyari hindi 0 ang ating remainder kasi remainder 2 eh automatic if the remainder is not 0 ibig sabihin nyo that x plus 3 is not a factor. So, ayan. Again, review lang tayo, ha? When you use remainder theorem, ang mangyayari, you will be identifying whether the given binomial is a factor or not. Paano? Kapag yung, yung remainder na nakuha is equal to zero. So, again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!